The Octonauts Explore the Great Big Ocean by Miomi. It was a busy day under the cold Arctic Ocean when. Captain Barnacle's Bear was doing his laundry. Tweak Bunny was clearing ice in the Gup D. Dashy Dog was updating the Octopod software. Peso Penguin was practicing his bandaging. Quasi Kitten was working on his cat foo. Professor Inkling Octopus was leading a game. Shellington Sea Otter was researching with. Tunip the Vegemol, who had just sounded the Octo Alert, sliding through chutes and climbing down ladders, the rest of the Octonauts hurried to the launch bay. There they found Tunip anxiously pointing to a large map on the screen. Bree Daku Wok, he chirped sadly. We were studying underwater biomes, Shellington explained. Every creature has a home, a special place called a habitat that provides shelter and food. Tunip is upset because he doesn't know which habitat Vegemoles belong to. Where did the Vegemoles come from? Peso asked. That's a good question, Shellington said, as he began to read from his journal. One day, while doing research outside, I noticed some strange shapes on the side of the octopod. They looked like giant fish eggs, but unlike any I'd seen before. It was too dangerous to leave them outside, so I brought them into my lab. After a few days, the eggs hatched, and that's how I discovered the Vegemoles. I don't know where the eggs came from, or how long they'd been attached to our ship. They could be from anywhere in the ocean. Captain Barnacles declared, "Octonauts, our mission is to visit the different habitats of the ocean and find where Vegemoles come from. Prepare the gups." The team worked together to pack their tools and equipment, while the Vegemoles made sure there were plenty of their favourite kelp cakes to eat for the long trip ahead. One by one, the Gups launched from the octopod. First, the Octonauts visited the bustling open ocean. Amongst the waves, they met wandering sunfish, migrating whales. And a boisterous giant squid. Tunip was impressed that some creatures lived their entire lives on the move. On the rocky beach, the octonauts were invited to a tide pool party. Tunip discovered that many creatures live in shells. Unfortunately, they were too small to be vegetal homes. In the seagrass meadows, the octonauts helped the gentle manatee farmers with their harvest. Shellington discovered many baby animals in the nursery, but none of them were vegemoles. When the octonauts reached the sunny coral reef, they were dazzled by the bright colours. Friendly sea slugs. Perched on giant sponges, greeted them at every turn, but wherever they looked, every burrow and nook was already home to a creature. There wasn't any room left for the vegemoles. In the murky swamp, the octonauts nervously drifted past grinning alligators and curious snakes. Under the water, they discovered. A parade. The crew danced through the bayou while the vegemoles collected beads as souvenirs. Tired out from all the merrymaking, Tunip decided they should continue their search. 
After a long descent, the Octonauts reached the bottom of the ocean to visit their deep sea research lab. The crew inspected the camera network, but they didn't see any Vegemals, only the flickering lights of bioluminescent jellyfish. Tunip gazed out at the smoky hydrothermal vents and felt like he was on a different planet. He wondered if he'd ever find his own habitat. When the Octonauts finally arrived at the Kelp Forest, Tunip's eyes widened and he clapped his fins together in delight. Everywhere he looked, he was surrounded by kelp, his favourite type of seaweed. There aren't any other Vegemals here, Shellington observed, but it appears to be a suitable habitat for them. Vegemals do love kelp. The Vegemals quickly set up a camp kitchen and began baking away. They made sweet chocolate kelp cakes, healthy broccoli kelp cakes, and even fancy pineapple upside-down kelp cakes. When it was time to leave, Shellington called out, Tunip! Are you ready to go? But the distracted Vegemals were too busy to respond. Looks like they want to stay here, Captain Barnacle said sadly. I guess our search is over and we should head home to the octopod. The octonauts waved farewell as they departed in their gups, while the Vegemals continued to work in a fervour. So much kelp, so many cakes to bake. The Vegemals rolled and mixed and stirred for days, until mountains of kelp cakes towered all around them. With the baking done, Tunip excitedly ran through the forest in search of the Octonauts. He couldn't wait to share these treats. Not finding a single crew member, Tunip finally remembered. They had all gone back to the Octopod. There was no one left to enjoy the cakes. Missing their friends, the gloomy Vegemals thought of all the fun times they'd had together and felt sad. The Vegemals didn't know where the octopod would be, but they all agreed they had to try and find it. With a long and difficult journey ahead of them, they quickly packed up their mobile kitchen. Plates were stacked and pots were stowed. The determined group left the forest in a jumble of carts spilling with cakes. They travelled back to all the different habitats they'd visited, from the busy open ocean to the deep sea floor. As days passed, the Vegemals grew tired and started to give up hope of ever finding the Octonauts, until suddenly... One morning, they heard a familiar sound. Vroom! The octopod! The Vegemals cheered as it landed beside them in a burst of bubbles. The octohatch promptly opened and the octonauts swam out to reunite with their friends. We missed you all so much! Captain Barnacle said as he gave Tunip a big bear hug. We returned to the kelp forest to visit, but you weren't there. Luckily we found a trail of delicious clues, Dashi added as each octonaut held up their favourite type of cake. The octopod hasn't been the same without you. Barnacles addressed all the Vegemals. Would you join us on board again? Cheaper chew! Tunip quickly replied. The crew all turned expectedly to Shellington, who explained with a grin, That's Vegemalese for yes! Back on board the ship, the Octonauts gathered in the garden pod to enjoy a picnic. Tunip, if you like, we can keep looking for your original habitat, 
Shellington said, in between mouthfuls of kelp cake. There's still so much ocean we've yet to explore. Tunip looked around at his caring friends and cheerfully shook his head. He knew there was no better place for a Vegemal to belong than right here, on the Octopod. The End (laughs) 